Welcome back to the Michigan Business Beat, brought to you on the Michigan Business Network. I'm Chris Holman, and we are in our downtown studios, but uh, via technological miracles, we are going to run down to the Jackson area, and we're going to spend a little time with uh, Lauren Youngdahl Snyder. She's Vice President for Customer Experience with Consumers Energy, and uh, Lauren, it's always good to see you. How are you doing? I'm good. It's so good to see you. I miss being in person with you. Well, you know, it's so interesting. I think this is the first time we done something like this without being in the studio. I, I think that's right. I think that's right. Yeah. Well, I have to tell you, you are none the worse for that because you look wonderful and you got a great backdrop there. So well, thank you. Yeah. My kids. I like, you know, family yep. picks. I love it. Family first. That's um, right. Lauren, along those lines, let me start out uh, with something that we, we didn't talk about, but that is uh, consumers energy and the fact that you're at home and what's yeah. the circumstance, the COVID-19 policy there? Yeah, so we started to work remotely, you know, immediately when the orders came out back in March of last year. And uh, those who could be working uh, from home went home uh, and we managed the critical workforce of our front line, you know, our linemen, our gas service workers managed through that because they are critical to providing electricity and gas. Um, so I, per I personally have been home since March and uh, come July here, uh, we've been given the green light to go back to the office. But what I think is really cool is uh, we've been also given the option that if we want to make home our permanent office, uh, for those of us who can, we've been given that option. So I personally, like what you see, uh, this is my office and this is where I'll be uh, coming to you from in the future, but I'll also be coming into the office um, for key meetings and events. So it's going to be a new way of working together. And I really think that uh, this technology, you know, being able to leverage technology in new and different ways is going to just accelerate our work that we do. So it kind of was a great forcing function. That's a silver lining anyways. I you think. Know, it's amazing. The more, the more we interview people, the more we talk about how the new way of doing business is so much different. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm wondering how many people are going to figure out they need less commercial space, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, I know. I know. So, but then there's, you know, my husband, as you know, we've talked about him uh, as a small business owner over in uh, Grand Rapids, and he never got to stay home, nor would he ever. He had to stay home for a little bit of time. And he's like, I can't. I just can't. So yeah. uh, demands of business and needs and especially as a small business owner, you know, yeah. got to be there. Well, there are places you have to be. I mean, you just absolutely. Yeah. Have to be. So that's uh, that's uh, that's that's an important thing that we learned also from COVID nineteen. Not sure. everybody can stay home. Um, let's let's talk a little bit about Michigan Celebrate Small Business, probably the premier small business event uh, yes. in the state of Michigan, and and your involvement. Consumers Energy has been involved in this organization. Tell me a little bit about that. For a very long time. Uh, I love our involvement and our commitment uh, to this, uh, this group of our customers and in particular, this celebration. You know, small businesses are the backbone of our state. And we learned that even more so during the pandemic, you know, when things started to shut down and we, we knew that the impact would be most uh, significant on our small business customers. And so uh, we rallied and we turned actually part of my team into a resource for all of the stimulus funding. We also made sure that we uh, were offering options of ways to save money and do in different ways. Again, a great forcing function of this pandemic, virtual options, different types of tools that we hadn't used before in terms of helping customers lower bills and um, investing in communities. I mean, we did things such as partnering with uh, DDAs and Chamber of Commerces to get dollars in the doors of small businesses. So we know how important small businesses are to our community, and therefore we want to make sure they're successful. So that's why we love to be a part of this. And we love to celebrate the successes of our small business customers. Well, you, you have been involved. And, and as you know, as a founder, I've been involved since day one. Yeah, um, yeah. Matter of fact, interesting story. The idea started in my office, and, and did it really? I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, it did. Uh, it, it, it's it's a very interesting story. It really is. Uh, but this is one of the things that sprung out of it. It was in a, really an attempt to get four or five different small business organizations meeting and talking with each other on a regular yeah. basis, and we decided we needed something to do that would bring us together. And that's where Michigan Celebrates came from. 
So it's been expensive, that. but it took people like Consumers Energy to jump in because without sponsorship, I mean, this thing just cannot happen. Does this play well with within your employee base? Because that's one of the things that we hear a lot. Say more about that. Well, but, uh, the fact that your people are somewhat proud that you're involved in this. Uh, is, is, oh, 100%. I mean, the way that we show up for our customers and our communities, I mean, we firmly believe that when Michigan wins, uh, we all win. And so our, co- our employees, our coworkers, we call them our coworkers, absolutely love uh, and are very involved in making sure that we show up that way uh, in our communities. Well, I have to tell you that uh, as one of the founders and one of the people who really believes in this, uh, I thank you deeply on behalf of all of us for bringing consumers energy in and and having them be a big part of Michigan Celebrates. Thanks so much. And please convey that back. I absolutely will. You know, it's our privilege uh, to be a part of this tremendous work and celebration and will continue to be. Uh, it's It's a great thing. So thanks for letting us be a part of it. Well, thank you again, Lauren Youngdahl uh, Snyder. She's the Vice President for Customer Experience with Consumers Energy. Thanks for being with us. Keep up the good work, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to be right back on the Michigan Business Beat. I'm Chris Holman on the Michigan Business Network.